Hello and what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video of a day in a life of a rope access inspector. And today I will show you how we do the Derrick Bolts inspection. So what you see here is one of my teammates going down from a wall opening of the Derrick monkey board. And then he will do a rope to rope transfer so that he can stand on the beam of the Derrick you will see later. You can see him use a rope clamp or shunt instead of a proper backup. Unfortunately, that is the gear provided to us. By the way, I am not a level 3. I am just one of the level 1 technicians who sometimes got a chance to take video clips of what we are doing. So even after we get to stand and walk on top of the beams, he is still doing the rope to rope transfer thing because we need to be connected to a set of ropes at all times. We need to get somewhere in the center of the Derrick V door side, which is slightly away from the, op from the wall opening. And that is the reason we are doing the rope to rope transfer maneuver. We are here in the monkey board where the rest of the team are preparing the set of ropes for our next job. So we have to move from there to here by walking onto the beams of the dairy you can see below. It should have been a lot easier if we go down from this opening near the diving board but as you can see there are still people working in the rig floor and we were told to stay away from this area because they are using the overhead crane. So that is why for today we have to go the long route and do the rope to rope transfer maneuver. Thank you. 
And now for the actual work we are doing, the inspection of the bolts at the derrick. So basically, we want to make sure the bolts are in good condition and tight to the specified torque requirements. As you can see here, we would usually find loose bolts, especially in older rigs like this. In this case, the loose bolts are not really doing its job and a potential drop object hazard. Some loose bolts are easy to identify just by visual inspection. Like this guy over here. There is an obvious gap in the washer and I can move the washer like so. We manually check the torque of the bolt with a calibrated torque wrench and a torque multiplier tool. And you can see my friend using them right now. On a job, we would usually check close to a thousand individual bolts, so it is quite a workout. Majority of the bolts are tight enough and for some, we have to tighten them to specification. That is all for this short video and I hope you like it and if you do, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much and God bless you all.